Snake, infiltrate Dr. Strangelove's research lab and either deactivate or destroy the AI. The lab's built into some ancient ruins, so find those first. The paths there are buried in vegetation. Work with nature to conceal yourself, and you'll be much harder to spot. Uh, a ghillie suit would be perfect here. In any case, take caution when advancing. Don't wear anything that stands out. The ruins are a labyrinth, so try and keep your bearings. I could use those walls to stay out of sight. Once a sniper is spotted, he'll move to another location. You shouldn't stick to the same place either. Oh, I know. I learned all about that in the Soviet Union. It is not necessarily a good idea to try to engage a sniper in close quarters combat. Finally, once you've found a place to hide, don't let them take you from behind. Don't worry. No one sneaks up on me. So this Dr. Strangelove was at NASA? Yeah. Well, actually, Strangelove left for DARPA not long after I joined. And then the two of you ended up back together doing research at Costa Rica. Uh, not exactly together. We coordinated on a few things, but the research projects themselves were separate from each other. We had it worked out so that Dr. Strangelove handled the mammal pod, Peace Walker's cerebrum, while I did the rest. That letter... something to do with your research? Huh? Uh, well, no, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a report. Research findings. Research findings? Anything in there we could use against Peace Walker? N nothing Nothing at all. Just don't read it, okay? Promise me you won't? Some scouts are really hard to spot because they use grass or dirt to camouflage themselves. They blend right in with the natural surroundings. Snipers and laser sights are a deadly combination.
Molten recovery helicopter is complete. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. C'est moi le loup. French. Fini de jouer à cache-cache. Dis-moi qui tu es. Please, do not kill me. You know, soldier. I am a tourist. What's your name? Please. What are you doing here? Cecile. Cosima. Come in there. You're not... One of the soldiers? Please, lower your gun. Who are you? 
I'm an ornithologist. Epocha? The gun's for self-defense. I'm looking for uh, that one rare bird in Costa Rica. Which one? The Quetzal? Right, the Quetzal. They're rare, but they're not covered under the Washington Treaty. The resplendent Quetzal is red listed. Really? You know your stuff. I am an ornithologist myself. Ah, uh, well, we'll have to compare notes later. Uh, here, drink some of this. <laughs> You saved me. They told me this was a paradise. That there were more rare birds here than anywhere else. That there was no war here. That it was safe. They told me it was every birder's dream. But they were wrong. What happened? If only I had not recorded that stupid voice. Voice? I was trying to capture the Quetzal song. Making my way through a thicket, I saw immense runes towering before me. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. You are the one who made the tape. I am loyal to myself. by that woman but she was kind she gave me food to eat and even bathed me herself each day but she said I could go home in a month so whatever you do don't take off the blindfold do so and you will never leave here hmm. guess you didn't listen how'd you escape I waited for an opening Stolen ID card. They almost caught me, but I managed to elude them. You made it this far and then succumbed to exhaustion. I was barefoot, with no supplies. Oh, I am so sorry. I drink it all. That facility. Did you see anybody else in there? Well. There was another woman, but I never saw her in person. Because you know, the blindfold. Oh yes, she often sang. Sang? It was such a strange song. What kind of person was she? Could you tell anything from her voice? I don't know. I don't even know why I was held a prisoner. They confiscated my equipment. My supplies, my passport, money, everything. The only thing I was allowed to keep were my undergarments. So that I would not be able to escape. And now, I am without even the means to prove who I am. I will not make it home to Paris like this. In that case, come to our place. Huh? You don't need a passport there. Don't even need a name. If you want to go back to Paris, we'll take you there anytime. What I want is a shower, a change of clothes, and a cigarette. I've got a cigar. It's Cuban. No French cigarettes? I prefer unfiltered. Fresh out. But come back to my place, and you can have all the French cigarettes you want. It sounds like heaven. <laughs> Close, but not quite. Outer heaven. It is sounding better all the time. Mm, so... You must have gotten a look at the facility when you escaped, right? What's in there? Lots of machinery. A big computer, like you would see in a university. What about the room where you heard the voice? Anybody in there? I don't know. There was a tube. A large tube in the back. When I approached it, I heard a voice. What did it say? Jack. Yes, it simply said Jack over and over. Jack. Listen, you've got to get me out of here. I really need a shower. Wait here. I've still got business to take care of. What? You're not thinking of going in there, are you? You can't leave me here. Relax. I'll have some friends pick you up. 
This is Miller. One for recovery. A civilian. Snake, we don't have room for any more civilians here. Hmm. Not even for a blonde Parisienne. A what? So she's, uh, pretty foxy? Uh, see for yourself. If what she's saying is true, I think we've found Paz's friend. The missing one? I'm thinking that she's the one that made that tape. Have her listen to it when she gets there. So she's safe then. Good news. I'm sure Paz will be glad to hear it. You bet. Snake, the ruins are just up ahead. Head north. On my way. What about me? Stay put. Ever wonder what it's like to be a bird? Huh? <laughs> Guess not. Guess not. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. What's wrong with it? Snake? 
Huey, your ID card isn't working. It won't open the lock. It can't be. What's going on? She hates me that much? <sighs> Strange Love's in charge of authorizing IDs. Sometimes a working card has its privileges removed. Say, if she decides she doesn't like that card's carrier. You think that's what happened? Well, I was never exactly her favorite. Oh. Well, this could be tricky. The soldiers outside aren't allowed in the lab either, so their cards won't do you any good. Great. Snake. Kaz, where's Cecile? She just got here. Hold on. Snake! Cecile, how'd it feel to fly? <sighs> Wonderful. For a moment, I felt what it must be like to be a bird. It almost made me want to give up my research and get a pilot's license. Did you need something? You said you'd gotten an ID card, right? Yes, but it was confiscated when the guards got me. Who took it? What did he look like? He had an orange jacket. <sighs> I cannot recall his face, though. Yeah, they all look pretty much the same. Where did it happen? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes! I do remember hearing the song of a nearby cattle. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from a birder. Would you like to hear it? What's that song? It's my cat cell. I took it with me when I was rescued. Didn't you say something about them being covered under the Washington Convention? <laughs> just kidding. That was just me. An imitation. An essential skill for any ornithologist. Pretty good, no? Damn good. If you want to hear the cat cell song again, just let me know. I can tell you all about the birds of Costa Rica, too. Yeah, will do. Thanks, Cecile. No, no. Thank you, Snake. Talk to you soon. Kaz, did you play that tape for Cecile? I sure did. It's hers, all right. Then she must be. She's not. Cecile said she's never even met Paz. What? She's at least ten years too old. But... I'm guessing Paz convinced herself that it was the tape her friend made. But never mind that. Let's go over what we know so far. The soldier with the ID card is wearing an orange jacket and is in a location where you'll hear Quetzal singing. Find that soldier, retrieve that card.
reporting for duty. That all you got? Okay, enough. <laughs> 